You want to see the planet Venus? Right. So I wanted to take a picture of planet Venus. I got my C14 outside. One of the troubles that I always have is on the small sensor cameras finding the planet. So if you see my setup here, I'm using I'm using the big camera, which is the ZWO 1600 camera with the filter wheel. So when I do my polar alignment and when I do my basic focus, I use this setup and uh, bring the planet because it has a wider field of view with the big sensor. I use that big sensor to center the planet in this camera. Now, so once I'm done with that, I use this small camera, ZWO 120MC, which is the color camera. I put one of those small adapters that come with the ZWO. So this adapter it looks like a one inch adapter. It goes on top of it and it exactly matches to the focus here maybe a small focusing adjustment i may have to do but i would be able to take a pretty good picture locate the planet in the center of this camera as well make the focus adjustments like minor focus adjustments and then take a picture of the planet let me show you how i capture venus using uh, this setup uh, by the way if you are new to this channel i take pictures of comets planets asteroids galaxies, nebula, a variety of deep space objects. So if you are interested in these videos, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Now this is the sharp cap software. I'm using the ZWO 1600 monochrome. Now the planet is in the field of view. I'm going to close that one. I put the small camera and now it actually shows up in the field of view i need to kind of bring it back to the center beautiful so this is color camera but planet venus actually doesn't show much of a color let's see if i can reduce the resolution reduce the brightness a little bit yeah i have to reduce the brightness because if I do the lucky imaging, like, you know, start capturing the video, I wanted to make sure it's not too bright. So generally, if it is planet, I take like two minutes or three minutes video and then stack those frames. So in this case, I'm taking three minutes. I think that's good enough. SharpCap Pro is a paid version, like $14 a year, but otherwise SharpCap is free software. So yeah, the wind is moving the telescope around, but as long as the planet is in the field of view, I think we are good. So I bring my file into AutoStacker. This came from last night. So I have two videos here and there is something about color here. You can actually force RGGB. It's black and white anyway from a, I don't see much of a color anywhere. So Okay, so that's how it is doing it for four, for 24. For some reason, it doesn't want to do 48. But it likes 24, definitely. All right, I think uh, these are the alignment points. So if I come back here, so we did open the file, we analyzed the file. We came here, we put some alignment points, we put 15. 
we put save in the folders and we will we don't need to drizzle it it just uh, makes it slow so i'm going to stack this it's not bad it just did it real time really fast so i think i have them in this folder here right so i believe it is going to put the folder right here see that so this is the file that it created wow planet venus is uh, pretty bright and it looks like kind of a moon so there is um, also another software it's called okay so this one on the other hand i think it actually increased the sharpness of it so if i select the file Stretch intensity level, I guess that's what it is. Oh my goodness. Ah, it looks beautiful. View zoomed, yeah. Honestly, guys, this is something that I don't do every day, so yeah, I don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to save the image. You have not use the do all function perform this now i say yes okay so this is going to be my version 2 